Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy for you. And today's knife is a, a model, a up and coming model from Best Tech. And this is a prototype, unnamed prototype. So we're just, I'm just gonna give you my first impressions <coughs> from carrying it for, it's not really first impressions, I've carried it uh, since Blade Show and I'm gonna give you my thoughts. <coughs> but I, that's about as far as I'm gonna go with it because this, like I said, is a prototype. Uh, let's get some specs out of the way. You have pretty full size EDC at eight and three eighths inches total length, uh, blade length of three and a half inches, <clears throat> a grip area of three and three quarters inches, average thickness in the thickest portion at 0.5, uh, the width of in the closed position is 1.47, <clears throat> the blade stock is uh, 0.15. And um, thinnest portion of the edge is 19 thousandths with a 20 degree per side edge. That's one thing that I'm liking seeing uh, coming out of Best Tech is it seems like they're starting to thin out their, their edges <clears throat> a little bit more and as a good performer, especially when the design yields that. <clears throat> Let's get a close up look at this very, very sexy uh, harpoon clip point. Kind of like that Lanny's clip blade shape. Absolutely love it. That swedge looks so nice and it gives you a nice precise point for piercing. You have uh, a saber ground blade right here. Nice satin. You got a uh, vertical satin on your primary and your uh, swedge. And then you have a horizontal uh, satin on the flats. You know, some of this stuff could change. I'm not sure, but... Um, I, I'm gonna tell you the things that I know will be changing. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna have any of their markings on here. I think I think now they just put the blade steel like on this side, and I think their logo on this side. But I sure think it looks beautiful, uh, sterile like this. I wish they would just uh, put just the blade steel right there. I think it would look great and. I don't know. I know they probably need to put their logo somewhere, but that's just my thoughts. Uh, the jimping up here is nice and functional. <clears throat> it doesn't hurt whenever I bear down, but it does. It will lock in if you push down hard enough. You do have a forward finger choil, or you could call it a sharpening choil, just depending on how fat your fingers are. My fingers sit in there nicely in this little scoop up right here. Uh, very, very nice. Nice. <clears throat> um, let's close this guy up. You have the jimping as well on the flipper tab, and you get good traction. Nice action, just like pretty much all best techs that I've handled. Uh, you do have a landing pad for your finger right there, milled out into the scales. Go to the back. You have a bolstered. You have titanium bolsters up front with a blasted finish. And then you have, uh, on this model, you have a satin finished carbon fiber. Very nicely done, like they always do. Absolutely no transition feeling right here at all. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if that's that, that's going to be the, the pivot, pivot they go with, but it has the Torx T8 on this side right here. <clears throat> and you can see the body screw, the, the scale screw holding down this carbon fiber right here. And then you have two uh, body screws back here. Flip it up right here. You can see you have a titanium backspacer with some milled lines in it. <clears throat> Flip it over on this side. You do have a titanium bolster lock, as you can see right here. <clears throat> you have your steel lock bar insert right there. You have a 3D milled titanium pocket clip. We'll see what that looks like in the pocket real quick. <clears throat> goes in the pocket very easily and not a whole lot sticking out being that it's not a deep carry clip. It is tip up right hand only. Sorry about that lefties, but it does keep it clean on this side. You do have a large lanyard hole right there for all you lanyard lovers. You have good blade to handle ratio right there. You do have perfect centering on this guy. Can't get that edge right there and you can't touch the edge on this side as well. <clears throat> um, it's riding on ceramic bearing, ceramic detent ball, just like all their higher end folders. 
Not sure exactly the price on this guy. I think in my Blade Show coverage video, she gave me a ballpark figure of what she thinks it's gonna be. Um, I did some light cutting with this guy. Didn't go crazy on it. Uh, ergos are, are pretty darn nice in this hammer grip and this choke up grip. It's very comfortable because you have this little scoop right there. I can get some nice control on there. Uh, one thing that they knocked out of the park with this guy <coughs> is the access to that lock bar. Not only is it sitting proud of the show scale right here, they also put a chamfer on the lock side and they put these little grooves. When I say it's one of the easiest lock bars to get to very, very easily. And whenever somebody, a company does something excellent, I'm definitely gonna let y'all know. I think that is excellent. <clears throat> so there you go. That's just a quick look at this guy. Let's do, let's do a, a weight on this guy real quick. It's not skeletonized, but they they did 3D contour the scales, as you can see, or CC the scales, uh, so they're not just flat. And um, they they milled out the titanium to put this this scale over the top of it. So let's see, for an eight and three eighths inch blade, 4.56 ounces. So definitely definitely good there almost uh, an ounce an inch so i'm not complaining um let's get some size comparison so you can get an idea here's a spider Co capara these two are close in size the capara is just a tad bit shorter um you have more cutting edge on the capara because they 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 put the forward choil into the scale right there then you have the Chris Reeve, Large and Cozy, <coughs> and Singo and Cozy. As you can see, it's a little bit shorter as well than the prototype. Um, got the Benchmade Freak. I think these two are pretty close as well. Yeah, very close. Almost identical on the Freak. You, you got maybe just a tad bit more longer blade on the uh, prototype. And here is the drop, or this was a mass drop at the time, Thresher, Gafco Thresher. And it's a little bit shorter as well. <clears throat> so my overall impressions is knife. I, I was so excited when I saw this one at their uh, booth this year. Uh, so much so they saw me drooling on it. And I think since I drooled on it, I was able to bring it home with me. So very excited to have this in the collection. Uh, they're still trying to name it. So anybody who hasn't shot me a, a, a name, what they want to, what they want, would like to see this called, leave it down in the comments section below. If there's anything on this guy as it stands that you don't like or you would change, leave it down below because they are very receptive to um, their customers' opinions, especially if enough people say something. Uh, thing, couple, couple of things that are really only one thing that I wouldn't, that I would probably change is this lanyard hole. I think, you know, they, they kept it pretty clean. You already have these whole, these, uh, torque screws. I would like to see them do like they do the integrated lanyard into the backspacer if possible. Cause, uh, I just don't think it needs that extra hole in it. You could do the, the uh, lanyard another way. And, uh, let's see where this. See, it's, it's balanced, it's nice and balanced, so no need to uh, do any internal milling. I don't even know if you can. I doubt you can, being how thin this is, to be able to put this carbon fiber on top of it. So, like I said, let me know what y'all think about it. Uh, let me know if y'all excited about it. Give me a name if you hadn't had an, if you hadn't already gave me a name in the last, my Blade Show video. And uh, if you like my videos in general, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my content. I do giveaways and uh, I try to put up at least a video a week and usually more. <clears throat> and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends and family and your social networks. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.